Hey guys, it's your boy Mike Revan back at it again, working you through the cybersecurity exams that you need to get to the next level. Remember, every week I take from the comments below, and I that's how I select the next week's videos. Uh, so been super busy this week with uh, with work and uh, Christmas shopping and everything else. So as you see behind me, I'm still working on editing this week's video, but I wanted to get something up for you uh, because I know you guys, uh, there are some of you that are studying frantically uh, for the CISSP before, uh, before it changes formats. So uh, this one isn't gonna be pretty or you know fancy green screens or anything else, just a little something to get you uh, get you through your studying. So uh, I think we're up to domain four, if I believe, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, so be communications, telecommunications, uh, networking, secure networking. Um, so the things you need to remember when it comes to uh, the telecommunications part, uh, you got to break it down to uh, to the basics, right? You got to break it down to the OSI model. Be aware uh, of the seven different layers of the OSI model, right? You know, please do not throw sausage pizza away. Um, and also be very careful uh, to remember that there are two models, okay? So you have the TCP IP model, or uh, some people call it the DOD model, and then you have the uh, OSI model, the seven layer model. Now the DOD model has four layers, and the OSI model has uh, uh, all seven layers. So be careful uh, when you're studying for those. Uh, you probably get a few questions uh, centered around, do you know which layers uh, go with go with which, uh, which model? Um, also, uh, what types of devices that you're going to find in each layer. So for instance, you know, layer one devices, you're dealing with uh, uh, things like hubs, right? Um, and repeaters. Uh, and then layer two, uh, you're dealing with switches and physical addressing, that's where your MAC address is. Uh, layer three, we uh, get up to networking or logical addressing, that's where your routers are. Um, that's where packet filtering happens and, and firewalls uh, all live there at layer, uh, layer three. Uh, then layer four, uh, the TCP, right? So that's the other half of the internet protocol stack. Uh, layer four, TCP or UDP or, or whatever, in this case, TCP, uh, then go down to layer uh, three, networking IP. So that's where we get TCP IP. That's why we don't indicate the TCP IP is a protocol. It is a suite of protocols. Uh, moving up into layer five, that's where uh, SSL lives in the secure sockets layer. Uh, then layer six is where you have compression and encryption. And then layer seven uh, is your application layer, things like FTP and SMTP, and, you know, things like that. So be aware of what lives at what layer. Um, uh, I'd be surprised if you didn't get uh, at least a few questions over you know different protocols and different layers. Um, uh, MAC addressing again in layer two um, and being aware of the ARPs and RARPs. So ARP um, from logical to physical addressing, right? So from the IP address down to the MAC address and then the RARP, the reverse address resolution protocol uh, goes from physical to logical. So from the MAC address of the, of, uh, the machine to the IP address to the logical address. Uh, of that machine. Uh, you will need to be familiar with the um, uh, different IP address uh, classes, right? So uh, class A, uh, running one through, uh, let's see if I can remember, uh, one through 126, I believe if I have it correctly, then class B, uh, 128 through 191, and then class C, 192 through 223. Pretty sure that's right. So uh, those are your address ranges, uh, and of course your private address ranges uh, or your non-routable uh, addresses uh, for class A, typically you see that you know, it's 10 dot uh, whatever, then class B, uh, normally it's 172, but be careful with, one, with the 172 range. Remember it's, it, it's 172.16.0.0 all the way up to 172.31. Uh, I believe it is, 31? think so yeah 172.31 um, it will be your class B range and then uh, 192.168 uh, 
uh, zero, zero, uh, your class C non-routable uh, addresses. Next, you'll deal with uh, natting and padding. Uh, so just remember uh, when I do natting, it's network address translation. So I'm taking my one uh, public facing IP address uh, and then translating that at the, uh, at the border, at the boundary um, into one private IP address. So 1.1.1.1 uh, .1 in my public interface will translate to 10.0.0. whatever on my private uh, IP address space. So an address to an address is natting, um, whereas an address to an address and port number would be padding or port address translation. Um, they both still have that one-to-one -one in it, so be careful when you, you know, when you run into that question. You know, yes, it is still one-to-one, -one, uh, but you're you're continuing to use the public IP, the public IP address on the inside, the same as you used on the outside, uh, and you identify the nodes inside the network by uh, port number uh, rather than a private address uh, private address number. Uh, when it comes to uh, layer two and switching. Uh, remember the VLANs live on the switch, so uh, the VLANs are layer two uh, technologies. Uh, and again, let's see, what, what I, did we do? Firewalls? Yeah, firewalls uh, at layer, um, uh, layer three. Um, and that will lead you into the discussion of TCP and UDP. Just remember TCP is a connection-oriented uh, protocol where UDP is connection-less. Uh, so TCP uh, is where your three-way handshake uh, lives, uh, SYN, SYNAC, and ACK. Um, UDP is fire and forget. We don't care if it ever gets there. Um, all your streaming uh, services will, will work over UDP. So streaming video, streaming music, and what have you. Um, you know, that's, that's, where, that's where UDP comes in. Um, if it drops a packet here or there, it's not really going to make that big of a difference. So... Um, that's the first half of domain four. So if you like what you see here and you want more, remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes. And as always, visualize success. You will succeed. I'll see you next time.